Hello everyone, uh, it's us again. We are here in the yeah, Ryzen Canyon store at Nice, just before the Nice World Championships uh, for the Ironman distance. And we are today here with Damien from Pillar Performance. Uh, yeah, Damien, thanks um, for being here, first of all. Thanks for taking your time. And I think I have prepared some questions, but before we start with that, um, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Sebastian. It's good to be here. Um, as you said, my name is Damien Fitzpatrick. I'm the CEO and the founder of Pillar Performance. Nice to chat today and obviously introduce your audience a we little bit more. our audience, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> to what we're doing at Pillar. Um, yeah. As we said, we're in, a, we're in a great venue at the World Championship, so I think it's a, um, it's a great place for us to have this chat. It is, it is. Yeah, so um, I think now you're a CEO, but what's your story? So uh, I think you were quite good um, athlete. Can you take us a little bit there? Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I'm not a, I wasn't a professional <laughs> marathoner. No? Um, no, I, and I wasn't, I, I'm certainly not a CEO before as well. So um, this is a really new world for me. Um, before we launched Pillar, this is my first job, but before that I was I was a professional rugby player yeah. for 13 years. Um, so I, I have to stay back a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I'll yeah. fill up the space with <laughs> yeah. my shoulders as well. But um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a un it's, it's, it's been a really unique journey for me. I had a 13 year career between playing in Australia and also Europe. So I was playing here in France as well, uh -huh. um, in Lyon and Paris um, for two professional teams here. Um, and then a career that started straight out of high school um, in Australia. And, and I suppose the unique thing for me was from 19 years old, I was entered the world of professional sport and was given huge access to knowledge, um, to sports supplements, to nutrition, um, but also really got a first-hand access to where maybe some holes lied. And I know now as a retired athlete, there are things that I really do wish I knew and probably implemented back then. Yeah. So entering the world of endurance is new for me as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome to the club of <laughs> what I could know in the past could help uh, me now. Yeah, hindsight's yeah, yeah. A, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? It yeah. is, it is, it is, yeah. Um, yeah, so you were an athlete. You haven't been a CEO before. So where's all this uh, idea coming from to, to found uh, Pillar Performance, actually? Yeah, I think it's, it's, an, it's a unique story and I think one that more and more people are hearing about. But as I said, I was a rugby player. Um, very different energy systems, body shapes than what we're, you know, we're seeing here in, in triathlon mm -hmm. now. Um, but the journey for me was through my injuries. So I, I wish I was more famous for what I did on the field, um, but I'm actually more famous for how, what I was able to come back from in terms of okay. my injuries. So I had some severe knee problems during my career, which as a, as a response to that, um, and I had to travel to Europe to fix my knee in the end. It was a genetic problem with, mm -hmm. a, with a tibial slope issue. Okay. I had a surgeon in Lyon who, who discovered the issue, um, and now, I'm thankfully, I'm the first rugby player in the world to ever return back to the field after what the surgery was, was called a tibial osteotomy. Long story, it left my knee in, it, it did fix my knee. It, it, it definitely <coughs> never got it back to being 100%, of course, na yeah. naturally. Yeah. Um, and, and for, unfortunately, it, it meant that I also didn't have any cartilage left. So while the knee was able to get me back on the field, I was also put, I had to put up with a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's where the, the premise of micronutrition in, and in other parts of the world, the category has been called other things, vitamins and minerals, complementary medicine. If you're in the USA, it's called just supplements. Um, but I needed to turn to these supplements um, in order to fulfill my career because I, like a lot of athletes, started using anti-inflammatories, mm -hmm. um, you know, over-the-counter that you find in pharmacies, um, and they have a very short-term, you know, positive effect on pain yeah. to allow players or athletes to train in order to race or to fulfil a contract or play. Yeah, which we, um, for age groupers, wouldn't ever recommend, actually. Of course, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm saying this from experience yeah. in the fact that, yeah, it's, and, and it is a reality that a lot of, you know, professional athletes feel, yeah. feel that they, you know, you need to, you need to take these drugs, but. My team at the time, my professional team and the medical team, they knew that that wasn't a long term. When they found out what was happening, they said, Damien, we, we need to find a solution for you naturally. Mm -hmm. um, and I said to them, I, could, I said, okay, well, what, what are the options? What, what can we do from an, and right now we were looking at an inflammate, we were looking yeah. at the space from inflammation, because that's what, what I, was, I was dealing with. Um, and very quickly we discovered that there was a very large hole in what we were researching in terms of looking around what we could find outside of anti-inflammatories over the over the counter from, from um, pharmacy mm -hmm. 
and what was available on the market for athletes that would actually start to solve the problems that we were trying to look for. Um, and that was the moment. I think for like an, a lot of entrepreneurs, everyone has that aha moment. Mm -hmm. And when I, I sat with some of these companies and I asked them why there was, I suppose, a gap between what I was finding on the shelves and what our team was researching and what sports science at a very level where, you know, there's still very limited research in micronutrition for elite athletes, mm -hmm. but even the research that was there, sports science was there, availability of product was here, and that gap there was the, was the moment. Yeah, great. Okay, Damien, this is your background, this is maybe the reason uh, why you started with all of that. So, but in general, what, I mean, every company has a mission and a vision, so what is the mission and vision from Pillar, actually? Yeah, and I think now we're, we've, really, we've really shaped what that looks like. As I said, you kind of heard the story about yeah. this space that, we, that I believe I needed to explore. Um, fast forwarding the process, I retired from rugby with that idea. I said, this, this is now where my passion lies. I was nearing the end of my career. Unfortunately, I couldn't play anymore. But I said, I want to explore this space. I believe if we can solve this problem for athletes, if we can start to essentially change the way athletes are thinking about nutrition, because one of the things we didn't mention was that when I actually started to take these products and I started to, to tinker around with the ingredients myself and my own career, it started to work. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, that's the scratching of the surface we needed. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is when we, when we launched Pillar, I said, our, our mission right now is to get athletes to start lines. And now the interesting thing when you, when you say that, um, there's a little bit of background noise. People yeah, will yeah. raise our voice. Sorry for that, yeah. Um, but the, the mission is to get athletes to start lines. Yeah. And, and we're quite deliberate um, in using that word start line um, because right now the brand is, is very well known in endurance. But I think for this terminology of start line, it doesn't just mean endurance sports. We, for, for, for different athletes around the world, the start line could even just be getting to a start of a training program, oh, of getting to the start of your next training day. That concept of the start line for us <coughs> is all about trying to get the athletes to prepare and be ready to perform. Yeah. I mean, we all say, like every coach, every athlete says, okay, consistency is key. And I of think course. that's your goal, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. This is every day is a start line, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're exactly right. And so our, our mission is to get athletes to start lines. The vision um, of the company and, and where I want and believe this space needs to be solved is we, we, we want to change performance nutrition globally forever. Because I, I think micronutrition for so long has sat in a in the in the category of wellness and preventative health, um, and, and, and has always been categorised for someone or later in life to prevent or create yeah. longevity. And and we, what we believe and what we are going to solve and try and solve is we believe by taking this category and putting it here and now, matching it with science, is going to change the fabric of how athletes start to think about nutrition. Yeah. And that's why we use that word micronutrition because it hadn't been used before. But we wanted to get athletes to understand, guys, you all understand macronutrients. We understand carbohydrates yeah, and yeah, proteins exactly. and fats. We understand how hopefully, to count them. Hopefully, actually. hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And we understand, and many athletes understand how to count those and yeah. the importance of performance <clears throat> in that category. We are trying to prove and, and, are, and are doing so right now yeah. that micronutrition deserves a seat at that table. And that's the vision of what we want to, where, where we want yeah. to take this company and, and the space for athletes. And I mean, like, I think from looking back to last year, like when Jan had this knee injury and all this stuff going on and hip uh, stuff, I think you could help him quite well with the, with the products, right? Yeah, and I think that, that for us is obviously the, the tip of, you know, it's the yeah, tip yeah. of the pyramid. When, when we can have an athlete and, you know, a pretty handy athlete like Jan, <laughs> when, when, we can, when we can, our products can actually make a difference, like when, and to, to let people under the, I suppose, under the covers a little bit, yeah, we, we were able, Jan was suffering um, some, some fluid and inflammation problems in yeah. his knee as a result of what was going on in his Achilles, and often that happens. So we were trying to make a protocol that would enable a smaller amount of inflammation to come out of his knee, and through the protocol that we were made with Pillar, it did actually work. And it's got Jan to that point where he was able to start training again, and mm -hmm. here we are today, 24 hours out of a, of a very important race, and hopefully a, a you know a cap, capstone of an amazing career. And, yeah, yeah. You know, it makes us really proud that we played a very small part in, you know, an amazing career. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just, we just, we really are hopefully that we can do that. For, we're hoping we can do that for so many athletes and not just the Jan Fredinos of the world. No, no, well. no. Exactly. That's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Damien, we then know what's your vision, mission background. So, but really 
stepping a uh, step or going a step back and really like having a nice overview. What are micronutrients in general and why are they so important, in, um, especially for you guys, like the endurance world out there, so for endurance athletes? I mean, as you just said, we know what macronutrients are, like carbs, fats, proteins, and I think hopefully you already knew what it is and how important it is. But what are micronutrients and how can they help us? Also, for example, like the triple magnesium, why can it be important uh, for athletes? Yeah, and I think, I think that's the most important question for today for, for all of you guys out there as endurance athletes. Um, to answer the first question, what are micronutrients? I think let's, let's start very simply. Macronutrients, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Yeah. Essentially, everything else is falls into this category of micronutrients. Yeah. Now, if we want to break that category down, it becomes oh. really complicated. It becomes complicated. Yeah. But let, let's let's try a little bit. We've got you know minerals. You've got vitamins. You've got you know you've got trace minerals. You've got trace and, and, and like we can start to. Mm. But, but let's just stick with vitamins and minerals. And we've also then got the ATP system, mm -hmm. red cell production. Again, a lot of this category right now fits into micronutrients and. I think the really important thing, and, and the, I, I suppose a lot of people ask why Pillar now is helping so many endurance athletes, and, and again, why so many endurance athletes are the ones that are coming over to the brand very quickly. It, I think the, the premise is very simple. Endurance athletes, when we break down what micronutrients and Pillar can do from a need state perspective, and by need state I mean, what are we solving for? And, and we have four pillars that we are trying to solve for for athletes, and, and these four pillars, when you, would, you and I have agreed on this before, when we break them up into sleep and recovery, inflammation, immunity, and energy, mm -hmm. there isn't an athlete that is more in need of those four need states yeah. than an endurance athlete. Yeah. And, and if we look, as we said, let's talk about the triple magnesium because sleep and recovery, as we know now, is, is being so well researched. Most important, yeah. I think we've only scratched the surface <coughs> in terms of what that research looks yeah. like, in terms of really understanding what HRV can do for overall recovery and how mm. we start to monitor those processes. We've really thought that there was, you know, in the past, magnesium as in, in, in its raw form um, has been very miseducated. I think a lot of athletes have used the magnesium, obviously not potentially for the need state that they were being sold Especially for. in Germany, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> it's not just Germany, but there are, it's, it's, it's a phenomenon around the world where, where that particular ingredient has been very misunderstood because magnesium has incredibly many, many different forms. Um, and for endurance athletes, I think when it comes to micronutrients, it's really important to understand what you're taking and what need state you're trying to solve. And specifically, the triple magnesium, we wanted to do two things, because we're trying to solve for performance, and for this particular product, it was to solve for athlete sleep, and sometimes we can't get the hours of sleep we want. Mm -hmm. So it's about finding a way to actually make a, a, your sleep time as efficient as yeah, possible. Yeah, the quality, right? Exactly. Yeah. I and mean, it comes back to that premise of More quality. More sleep over, and stuff like that. Like, yeah. we would all love nine hours of sleep. You know, <laughs> yeah, we would all day. love it. And, yeah. and it's just sometimes it's not possible, right? <clears throat> yeah. But if we can make the seven and a half hours sleep higher quality than we have in the past, yeah. it can make a difference to what you're doing from a recovery perspective. Because at the end of the day, you have sleep and you get into deep sleep, you will physically start to recover yeah. quicker. And I think one of the most important things about the sleep is not just sleep quality and duration, it's also the latency to sleep in, right? Absolutely. So, And I think you can increase it with triple magnesium super well. So I experienced yeah. myself and yes. I, all of the athletes I coach who tested it, they, they told me. And I think like, um, you know, we have also looked a step uh, back a little bit here and then okay what's endurance sports and what need uh, what is the need of endurance athletes because I mean right now outside here in Nice the day before the world championship it's um, it's like 30 degrees outside we sweat a lot so we just lose magnesium all the the, the, um, the micronutrients right I, I think yeah, and I think this is an easy one to understand endurance yeah. athletes they deplete yeah. micronutrients at a far greater level yeah. than in many other sports. Yeah, yeah and I, th I think what well, we know from a need state perspective, endurance athletes, very simply, and I think everyone would agree, yeah. endurance athletes deplete yeah. macronutrients as much as they deplete micronutrients on a daily basis, yeah. a daily basis yeah. far greater than many other sports, purely because of the nature of what the training is involved or the yeah. racing that's involved. So naturally, that need state in terms of what we can solve for is going to be 100% tailored towards endurance athletes. And that for us is the most important space to solve for right now because yeah. those athletes are the ones that understand, mm. firstly, what their body needs to be able to get to that start line, be able to then take on the fuel that's required. 
And I think that's the other thing that you, you and I talk about a lot is yeah. how this concept of getting you to the start line. It's, it's about micronutrients play an important role, like an incredibly important role in being able to absorb and optimize your macronutrients. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we say, we're gonna get you to the start line in the best position yeah. to ensure that you are able to optimize, obviously, all of the fuel that you're about to yeah. consume. And, you know, to not go into it too much, but we have obviously created products that perfectly prepare the body to then absorb what, you know, a coach like yourself mm. would be telling an athlete on their fueling program yeah. to do. Yeah, and also I mean, I'm really looking forward, because you already told me, uh, to this whole science about age of inflammation and what we can do about that. Looking, re lo really looking forward to the work of Dan Plus. We hopefully met them, meet on, on Kona. On um, Big Island, uh, I'm really looking forward to that uh, and uh, the results we get from that study, actually. Yeah, and I, I'm, I, we're really looking forward to the study as well. And, and Dan is definitely going to be going to be on the show, which is yeah. great. Um, and it's, it is quite news. It's, it's a, let's let's let everyone know. Dan Dan yeah. has recently, so Dr. Dan Plus has joined yeah. as our head of research now. Yeah, um, has been a part of the company for a long time. Um, Dan is is obviously incredibly famous now for his work in HRV yeah. research. Yeah, internationally. He, he's, yeah. The, he, he's the father of HRV. He, he was the reason that the HRV system was implemented into WHOOP. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the really unique thing and, and, and what we're very excited about is now really diving into the research about yeah. what interventions we potentially can do with, with magnesium in regards to sleep. Sleep then leading into HRV, HRV then leading into how can we really understand what HRV yeah. does for recovery yeah. so athletes can get to that start line in a better shape than they've ever been. Yeah, would be super nice actually. Yeah, <laughs> and, I think, and, I think, and I think this is where you and I know yeah. and we're really excited that this is where the research the pillar is going to do yeah. is going to be able to hopefully it's going to be game changing for athletes. Yeah, I think uh, from a scientific pr uh, perspective, being a researcher, I think there's still a lot of work to do uh, because I know how much work it is, but I think it's really groundbreaking and maybe also game changing. I mean, that's I'm really looking for it. Uh, also, to meet uh, Dan then on, uh, on, on the big island, it's super nice, yeah. But um, already like looking to Pillar as a company, like where do you see Pillar right now uh, on, on a scale from one to ten, what do you think? I mean, it's everybody says, okay, I'm still at zero. We just started, but if you think, okay, what can be a ten? Where are you now? Well, we're two. We're two years old. Mm -hmm. Let's say two. We're two point one years old, um, which for a lot of people is very surprising. Um, we're still very, very new in, in terms of what the company is, in terms of how how long we've been alive. Um, where the company is now, how, how would I put it on a scale of one to ten? If ten is, as I said, my you know my vision for this company is that we can change the fabric yeah. of performance nutrition in the world, and, and it and it, it won't just stop at endurance verticals and um, the way we you know the way people think about endurance. It's you know let's just break it down simply. You know, run, cycle, try. Um, micronutrients without a doubt can solve problems for athletes well mm -hmm. outside those verticals. That's a 10, I believe, where, okay. where micronutrients are now a, a household <coughs> understanding yeah. when it comes to performance. Um, and, More and educated athletes. Absolutely, yeah. and I, I think, you know, potentially the triple magnesium may, while, while it is 100% tailored towards endurance sports now, maybe there is a, a, a unique version of this that would be more tailored towards more anaerobic sports, yeah. you know, NFL, rugby, yeah. basketball, ice hockey. Yeah. We will definitely not stop the iteration and of the also products. Bigger body of tires course, and, stuff, and, yeah. and, the, and then we've got to think about the depletion rates. Yeah. Um, but the premise will always remain. So that's where the vision is. I, I, I think this space we, we want to own. You know, we want we want to create this category to change what athletes think about nutrition and to help solve those. Where are we now? I, I would say we're we've. We're rather well known now in triathlon, um, yeah. thanks to thanks to obviously the work we did with Jan. Yeah, pretty helpful. Um, yeah. He's obviously got a, yeah. an amazing an amazing voice in the sport. Yeah. Um, great team around him. Great team yeah. around him, and, and he's built. He, he understands science, and I think for us right now, triathlon for Pillar is, is is very well known. Are we very well known across cycling and running? No. So we've got some work to do there. Let's say we're around a two. Okay. Because as I said, I think you and I both know the between the two and the five, we need to, we really need, the, the research is where it needs to yeah, be. Yeah, and yeah, that's right. where we're beginning right now today. Yeah. And we want to, if we, if we can provide that research out there to athletes, it's going to, again, change the game, we believe. Yeah, so totally. I think we're at two. We have a great product range. We know we're solving for a lot of states. We're helping a lot of athletes. 
We're slowly now scaling. We're available now in Europe. We're available in the US, in Australia. For us, it took, that was a big challenge yeah, um, because course. this is a pharmaceutical product. It's not easy to get it around the world. Yeah. Um, and also our, our glass packaging comes yeah. with its own issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sorry for anyone that packages may have broken. Um, we are working on that. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to say we're, no, I'll be more generous, but we're at a three. Okay, we're okay, three. okay. Three out of ten. Okay, okay. but um, if you want to do your science at home, actually, so I want to motivate you, I mean, maybe you saw that already on the um, IG channels or the socials of Pillar, you can buy triple magnesium, for example, and if you track your sleep with a Garmin watch or Whoop, whatever, yep. with HRV, you can track it and you can check if there's a change for you, actually. I mean, that's, I mean the people will feel it, yeah, right, uh, hopefully. Absolutely. So. We're seeing, we are seeing results and if anyone's following us on socials, yeah. you will see and, and this isn't, people are doing this because it's fast, they like to share and that's yeah. a beautiful thing about the endurance community. People want to share when they find something that works, yeah. share it with one another and whether it's Whoop, whether it's Garmin, it's Aura Ring, Wahoo, however, Apple All Watch, yeah. we are seeing that if you, for athletes that haven't used a high level magnesium glycinate, like the form integral magnesium, there are almost overnight effects, which is, yeah. which is, is it's I quite almost profound. fall asleep on the couch <laughs> before it's going quite, to sleep. Yeah, it's quite profound as well. Yeah. And don't worry, if, like we do get this common kind of question: if I if I have it at lunchtime, will I sleep yeah. at work? <laughs> it's not a sleeping tablet. It's not, you know, it's, 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 it's certainly not pharmaceutically formulated to put you to sleep. It's what it's going to do is change that quality of sleep when you are ready to go yes, to sleep. Yeah. And we um, already showed that on our channel. Yeah, it's in German actually, but you can watch it if you want. Yeah. And one last question, because we got it uh, when we did the video about triple uh, magnesium. Okay. So we are always talking about quality, high quality, even higher quality in supplements, macros, uh, micros. So what is the difference when I use triple magnesium in comparison to, I don't know, you go to a pharmacy and you buy magnesium whatsoever? Yeah, it's a great, it's a great question and probably the most important question. Why, why is Pillar different? Um, and it comes, I think, let's start with that old saying, you know, quality over quantity. With micronutrients, it, the quality what athletes need to look for is all about the absorbability of the ingredient. Now magnesium comes in over 10 different forms. Mm -hmm. Some of them are low absorbed, some of them are high absorbed, some of them are high, low absorbed and also don't do much at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll take an example, magnesium oxide. A magnesium oxide is a slow release magnesium. It's, it's, it's been used for other need states, laxative effects and different things. Um, magnesium is a salt. So if it's a slow absorbed salt, salt sits in your stomach, salts absorb moisture, mm -hmm. that ends up in a, in a situation we don't want to be in pre-race or training. So the magnesium glycinate that we use for triple magnesium, what it actually does, it's one of the highest grade forms of magnesium. It's magnesium bound to glycine. So when we talk about quality of ingredient, that's what we've purposely selected. We've gone out of our way to make sure we're using the most absorbable forms yeah. Of, of ingredients because athletes need absorbability. It needs to go into the stomach. The body has an amazing way of actually rejecting the nutrients. So as much as I we think have, everybody knows that. Yeah. As much as we eat amazing yeah. salads and nice, you know, a colourful plate of food, any dietitian or nutritionist will tell you your body is actually doing a great job at not absorbing all of it. Mm -hmm. Same with supplements. You need to use the highest quality ingredient to ensure it gets absorbed into the body, and that's what we've been able to do. The diff biggest difference between Pillar and what you will find in a, in a grocery store or what you'll find in a pharmacy is also based on the, the, the consumer we're targeting. We are targeting athletes. Yeah. They're depleting magnesium at... Not the housewife or something. Yeah. This is right. Yeah. Athletes deplete magnesium at a high yeah. level. Yeah. They need the ingredient to be absorbed quickly into the body to be able to give it the output yeah. that we've designed it to do. So that's when people are taking Pillar now, they can be ensured that the ingredients that are selected in the actual product have been purposely selected for that, that, for that purpose, absorbability. And so that's probably the biggest difference you'll find. Yeah. And we don't like naming brands here. No, no, no. But guys, like, there is a large difference. And whether it's Pillar or it's any other product, please look at what form yeah. you're using. And it might not be triple magnesium. It might be our ultra immune C. Yeah. What we've done is we've taken the potency very, very high because we know that's where it needs to be from a depletion perspective and also the quality of the ingredients. They're all fast absorbed, so they're bioavailable. And what I actually think is what is super important for you to understand out there is like it's not one pillar product with magnesium, ultra immune, like vitamin C, this and that, blah, blah, blah. It's there are different products for specific targets 
and this is what I, from a scientific point of view, really like. So if your immune system is a really a little bit low, you take the immune um, booster, so to say, that yeah. with vitamin C, zinc, uh, vitamin D. So from a scientific point of view, those are the most uh, valuable ingredients. Um, and if you want to sleep better, recover better, you take um, the triple magnesium. So I, this is what I really like. You can be really be specific uh, about um, each target, so to say. Yeah, and we've we've tried to make it simple to understand yeah. because it, it's a it is a complicated. Not, it's not overly complicated. I think you're doing a fantastic job at educating. But if, if we break if we break this down into four areas: yeah. sleep and recovery immunity, energy, and inflammation. If you go on to our website, if you use a retailer, there will be products of the pillar range that fall directly into those need states. Yeah. And because we feel those ones, if we can solve those for athletes, we are gonna go a long way to getting more of them to the start line. And that's the whole premise. So if people want a product, if they want a recovery product, we have a product. If they're looking for immunity because they're an athlete that is always getting run down or they're traveling, or, you know, like you and I, we have young children, it's it's difficult, you, you get sick, yeah. um, and, and it's a unique place to be in because there are products that we can solve for, and we've just got to do our best way to make sure we educate it at a simple level that people can understand when and how to put them into their daily daily routine. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what was a really great roundup. I think so. so yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. stop there. Yeah. The volume is getting very yeah, loud in yeah. here. The people are getting crazy. Maybe yeah. they're happy to race tomorrow. Or Absolutely. To cheer for Jan. Yeah. So, Damien, thanks a lot for I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you for having telling me. all Thank the, the insights. Um, and I hope that you can, um, uh, that you maybe have some answers that you can comment on and we will answer them. So, if you liked that uh, talk or this chit chat, um, give a thumbs up. Uh, leave a subscription and thanks again Damien. Uh, thank you for having me Matt, it was really enjoyable. Okay, bye bye.